Okay, now I got it recorded. All right. Um, excited to be with everyone. Um, congratulations. Good morning to you as well. Um, it's amazing to be here. It's a new year. I, I, I love the energy with the crew that we have here. The co-authoring program uh, was created because we wanted to give opportunities for those who are first-time authors or those who want to be, um, you know, an author several times over um, by having the opportunity to be able to join and have access to leveraging their story or their message multiple times. So why am I bringing that up today? Most people don't understand, even with a co-author book, you're still an author. You're still an author if you've never written a book. If you did your solo project, one isn't greater than the other. Now, it's just about perspective. And if you've talked to me before, most of the people who are part of this uh, co-author program know me or we've chatted before. The understanding of B-squared, book to business, is something that other individuals who are authors don't understand, they don't get. Most people just write a book because it was just something on their heart, they threw it out there, or they just wanted to you know, get more speaking engagements, or they want to have brand awareness, or as the insurance company or whatever type of comp company that they have. So they just threw a book out there, but they were unaware of how to leverage the book and how they build their business or ministry or whatever endeavor or grow their career if they're in the corporate arena or whatnot or in education. So with that being said, that's why this is a fantastic opportunity that you all took advantage of with the co-authoring program. So now let me just get into the co-author program, some of the things that you need to understand. I come to create the co-author program. We will have several books that we will be doing throughout the year. Um, this will be ongoing. So this is not a, a one-time deal. So of course you have your book that you're focused on, but it's an actual program. Well, our opportunity is we want to um, equip and encourage uh, individuals from all walks of life that they can become authors. So we work with people wherever they are. So if someone might have a budget of just a certain amount or someone might feel like they're inadequate, they don't, they don't have, uh, they're not, you know, don't have the mindset to be able to do a whole book right now or the time, then we're creating solutions so they can at least get a chapter done. For some people, you know, they just want to put their toe in the water just to test it out a little bit to see how they can move forward. And that will give them the momentum to propel them to go ahead and do their own individual book as well. So I want to go ahead and just thank you all for joining the program. I just wanted to let you know what is the co-authoring program so you can see it. And I'm going to go into some questions. Uh, not questions. I'm going to answer some things, uh, give you some information um, that will give you clarity on how the co-authoring program works. Uh, some of the things that I'm going to talk about right now is going to be um, far as, uh, you know, uh, uh, intellectual property. I'm going to uh, chat with you how to utilize the book. I'm going to share with you how, we, how you will receive orders for the book, how, um, you know, how you can be able to leverage the book in your business in the whole nine. Um, so I'm going to go over all that type of stuff here today. And like I said, if there's any questions you have, make sure you write them down. Now, on this webinar today and the co-author, we're starting off with two books. So with that being said, we got two groups of people who are doing books on here. So we're going to share and reveal the cover as well. And also, I'm going to get the cover to each and every one of you, the whole nine. You know, don't worry about that. Our team is going to get it. But I want to reveal it to you, but share the information with you first. Uh, let's just go with this. The first thing that you want to understand when it comes to the, uh, a co-authoring book, somebody has to be the person that's in charge of the book because you can't have just, you know, a myriad of people, uh, you know, just named with the book. So the company is actually producing the book. So it's just like if somebody is doing a track, I don't know if you, you know, uh, you know, you know, it, so it would be under self-publishing 30 days. The reason for the co-authoring book would be you will have access to the book. Now, some of you might say, well, what about royalties, Darren? What if somebody buy it on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles and all that right there? And that will go to self-publishing 30 days. So for one, if you know me and if we've done any business with each other, you know, I'm not a big uh, fan of promoting or um, Amazon or Barnes and Noble, no way, because there's really no money made on Barnes and Nobles or, or Amazon. And if you made a lot of money on Barnes and Noble and Amazon, then you just put it in a, in a note and let me know how much you received in royalties. So really that's a non-factor. 
So I want to go ahead and nip that in the bud. Anyway, if somebody randomly find us on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and buy the book, you know, it might come into being three dollars or four dollars that might come in. Now, what is the solution to this? When you get the book, the real push for the co-authoring book is for you to utilize that book on your own platform. You might ask, what do you mean by that, Darren? Use it on your own platform. So for your website, for your shop page, for your online store, for your speaking engagements, for uh, whatever, however you want to use, use it, that will be your responsibility for the book. So remind you, this is a cost effective way. Nobody on here on the co-authoring program spent thousands of dollars to do this book. So we don't want to get, uh, you know, you know, we want to make sure that we get a level head with this. So this is not like you got a, uh, a marketing campaign like Michelle Obama um, to get this book done. So we want to be realistic with this. This is just something that's, that's a tool. This is a tool to use for your own. So what I mean by that is, say, for instance, ordering books for those who are looking at ordering. We can't have it where several people order. Now, online, it will show who co-authored the book online. It will be registered in that ISBN number who was an author or participant of this co-authored book. But then at the same time, when it comes to orders, whatever you want to order, our team will work with you and you would just order through us and we would just have the book shipped directly to you. So we will let you know what, the, you know, for those who've already done, um, um, the, the print on demand, you already know how that works, but all we would do is it would be in our company name. And what we would do is just, just the amount of what it is for you to order and have it shipped to you. That's what it would be. So, you know, it's, it's no upcharge or anything else. So those who are already ordering books who are already authors, then that's what it would be the same thing that you normally do. You would just order it through us and we would just ship it to you so you can have access to it. That's how that will work for those who are first time authors on here. Um, it's basically all you have to do, we will uh, uh, share with you the amount, if you tell us the quantity of books, everyone would, um, you know, when the book is uh, completed would know what will be the amount per book. And so you will allow for us to know the quantity of books you want. And then we will include what it would be to ship, you know, from the printer to you directly so you can have access to that. So that would be, you know, what it costs for the book. You got to think about taxes. And you also got to think about how fast you want the books. So it's just like anything else that you will purchase. If you get something for ground, if you want to expedite it a little bit in the medium range, or if you want it to go super fast, you know, that would be, you know, a, a premium to that particular type of service. So you just want to keep that in mind. So this is for you to use. So if you want to add um, for those who are, we're not creating a one page for everybody type thing. So like I, I, I'm bringing up again, this would be your responsibility to promote the book. We're going to promote the book and share about it. But each person, you know, you're your own entity. Even though we partner together on this book, you have the right to promote the book any way that you want to promote the book. So you can have it, like I said, you can have a landing page created. We're not creating landing pages for each individual person on this book alone. You just add this to whatever website. If you don't have a website, you can tell people to cash app you. You are your own, you know, you know, you, you know, you're your own person on this. You know, you have your rights to do whatever you want to do with the book. Like I said, if you set up something at a, at a, a book fair or if you have a lunch or whatever you want to do with it, great. You can have access to do that. Now, we will have things that we will do with the authors of the books to help promote the book which will be just something in additional that we're doing just to add value and to bring people together and to have an event to promote what's going on. But that, I don't want that to be looked at as entitlement or looked at as, oh, you owe me this. That's not what it is. We're just coming together. But each person is responsible for promoting their own book. Each person is responsible if you want a landing page for that, what you can do for that. Or if you got a web design team or others that you want to just put it on your own store then you can do that. So I want to make sure we got clarity on that. And all you're getting, we want to make sure that we get an understanding. Um, the next thing as far as when you look at the book, um, I'm just going to go into the names of the book so everyone can uh, see it. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and share the covers. 
All right. Uh, the first book is was a book over women's empowerment. Um, so I'm going to share this one first. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right, the first book we have here is Visionistas, Women Who Think Outside the Box, a collection of inspirational stories. Awesome book, awesome book. Uh, the Women Empowerment book is a fantastic book. We got some A-list people that's gonna be a part of it. I'm gonna share names here in just a little bit. Um, that's the first book. I'm gonna get that information over to you. I'm just going to make sure that everything is lined out, all the registration is done, the whole nine, because I don't want people to go, hey, my book done and all that. And someone try to steal the idea. So I just want to make sure all the, uh, we take care of all the legalities and whatnot, the legal stuff, and make sure everything is lined out before we just start promoting it. But I wanted to share it so you can see the cover for the book. And also while I'm on that, um, in each book, there will be an, uh, in the book, uh, a bio or information shared about each author because uh, for those who weren't on earlier when I started um, the webinar uh, we want to make sure that you leverage that your network is your network so there will be uh, you know for the co-authoring book the opportunity for that leverage like I talked about before of uh, making sure that you utilize the people that's in this book because there will be people of influence that's coming uh, that are purchasing or investing in getting the book for somebody that they know, like, and trust. So while they're there, they're able to have the opportunity to be able to see what you have going on. So just make sure that you keep that in mind as well. Make, make sure that you keep that in mind as well. <coughs> Excuse me. So keep that in mind that by someone else seeing your book, that's an opportunity for, for those who are speakers, speaking engagement, consulting, because people know about your services. So make sure that you just don't create a bio like you're trying to get a job uh, on indeed.com or whatnot, you know, make sure that you got the information detailed and lined out or the services that you actually provide that will be beneficial for people. Also, I want to make sure that you write this down, put this, uh, let me drop this on you. If you already know that you're working on something, if you're already working on something, and, and like I said, it could be a digital product, it could be an event that you have going on that you, that you got in your mind that you know that you're about to release sometime in 2020 or it's coming up soon. Go ahead and put the information in the book like far as your bio. If you want to leave a link or if you want to share, uh, if it's like a flyer for something, whatever that may be, go ahead and take advantage of this opportunity to promote. Like I, I, I'm bringing this up again, it's the B-squared method, book to business. Don't hold back and say, oh, well, it's not done yet. So I don't want to put it out there until it's done. Then what you run into is here it is, March. Now you contact us and hey, is there any way I can put this in the book? No, go ahead and put it in the book now. Go, no, the book isn't complete. It's not out to everyone yet. So if you need to create a flyer for something that you know that you're going to do, or if it's something that's ongoing i wouldn't do it if you're just doing like one event that's coming up like we got a conference coming up i wouldn't put that flyer in the book um for an event that would already be over with by the time the book came out i wouldn't do that but if it's something that i have far as you know if it's something for my podcast the podcast is ongoing um if it's some consulting or or or, 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 or digital product that i think a course that i have then I would use that. So even if you don't have it, so let me give you a tip on this. So if you know that you're going to have a certain domain or you need to go purchase a domain, I would just go like, um, you know, on GoDaddy or something like that, purchase that domain. And then also um, go ahead and put that in the book and just write up some content. That's a description of what's going to be, or just even if you don't even have the domain yet, just write out the information of, people can reach out or they can DM you or they can instant message you or they can email you for more information because we want you to leverage this to go ahead. We, you know, if I, if I can see, it'll be a win for me seeing you get an opportunity to get in front of people that you can inspire, that you can encourage. It, it, it'll be uh, great for me to know that you got promoted at your, at your job, 
because someone seen what you were doing with this book, they see uh, what you're doing outside of the company and how you add value. So these are the reasons why I'm just sharing this. I just want to give you some of these some of these aha, just drop this on you, give you some aha moments so you can have whatever epiphany you have for you and your business, you can utilize it. All right, let me move on to this. All right, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. All right, then we have the leadership book for entrepreneurs and leaders is the footprint of success stories of impact from leaders and entrepreneurs. Now, for those who are participating in that book, we had to change that title up. Uh, originally, we were looking at created to lead, built to make an impact. We had to change that up. Um, but I, I really love the footprint. Um, I think it aligned for the individuals who are part of that book, um, you know, for them to really win and have a good understanding. Uh, of, of how they can leverage it as well. Cause like I said, we're just using this as a tool for you to leverage. So we got the footprint of success, stories of impact from leaders and entrepreneurs. Uh, it's a great book. Y'all are doing a wonderful job on that. So I just want to share both of those covers with you all before we move on. Now, now we got that lined out. I showed you the covers. I shared some of the information on how you can leverage the book. So we will also, I'm going to get with you um, let's just go where we are in the process. First, it started off for us, you know, you know, aligning up who's going to be in the book. Those who made investments to be in the book the whole night. We lined all that out. Got the Okay. Then we had timelines for each person to write. And then due to conflict on some people's schedule, we had to extend the timeline for some people. Then it was areas where it was our bad, where someone might need to get, in, to get the information. So we had to get that cleared up. Uh, but most of you, who hit the hit your deadline or whatnot on when to submit um, your manuscript or submit your chapter? Um, our team has been working with you far as you know edits on the project. So each author for your chapter, you get edits from our team. You know we try to keep it around two two edits. We don't want to get ridiculous on this. You know, but we try to keep it you know a couple edits, line it out, make sure that it's right, make sure that it's going to be great content that goes out. Now, with that being said, we have to make sure, because this is a group project, so y'all have to make sure that y'all keep this in mind. It's great that you finish first, but at the same time, you got other people that they might need some more edits. So just because you finish don't mean the book is coming out because you through. So just be aware that you join a co-authoring program and you have other individuals. It's a team sport. So uh, there's no I in team. So we are working on that. Now, let's just give you a deadline on when the actual book will be out. The goal for the book to be out will be towards the end of February at the latest. The end of February at the latest, the book will be out. We really don't want to compete with dealing with the Super Bowl. We don't want to compete with dealing with Valentine's Day. So we want to have an official uh, release date that's clear of some of the other things that's going on or whatnot. So it could be more of a pop, more of a buzz. Um, about the book. So I want to let you know, and we will be in contact with you. So this, you know how we do it. Um, we go through stuff like a fine tooth comb. So you will not be out and have to wonder, Hey, you know, you know, did y'all ever decide about the book? It will be during that time that we will release the book. We will have an official date that we do. Uh, we will have it online and have everybody set up and ready to go. Um, also, we will have information where we'll be able to know, okay, what you want to order, uh, if, if, if uh, some will like, you know, prototypes or whatnot um, before the books come out, uh, you will have access to that. It won't be any issue at all. Um, but, you know, most of you have worked with us on previous products, so you know that we want to operate in integrity. We want uh, top notch, just how our business grows. Our business grows because we deal uh, grows by referrals and deal with great individuals just like you who we can devote our time to serve. So that's how we want to continue to grow. That's why we'll reach out to you, you know, for those who we can help too, because we, we know that, you know, you duplicate yourself. Great clients duplicate themselves and everyone who's on here are great people. So with that being said, I share some details as um, far as this. Oh, let me bring this up too. You know, now I'm not a tax person. I just want to, you know, put that out there as a disclaimer that I'm not a tax person. 
But as far as taxes with this, um, however you have your payment set up, whether you use PayPal, whether you use Square, whether you use Stripe, uh, you know, QuickBooks, whatever you do for these books, if you want, if you do your stuff quarterly for your business, or if you don't make up to a certain amount anyway on a book, it's really not a, a huge tax thing on it. Now, you do want to leverage like what you did for an investment for this if it's your business because you invested in yourself, you invested in your business. So I would talk to um, to your tax advisor or whatnot, or to your tax expert about what, you know, you know, get with your CPA to find out, okay, how you can utilize that as well, because you can have write-offs, you can benefit because you are investing in yourself and in your business to, to help you grow and to get better. So with that being said, I know some of you have had consultations with either a member of our team or whatnot um, for some of the editors, but I want to open it up for Q&A real quick as well. Let's go to Q&A. So if you can see at the bottom, you should see a tab where you can do Q&A, where you can type in a question or whatnot. Go ahead and type some in. I want to answer any questions that you may have. Just looking for something real quick. want to make sure remember our team's working on something for y'all all right any questions any questions that you all might have any questions okay let's hey this is the time for questions if y'all have any questions let's go ahead and any questions Come on, y'all. I know somebody might got a question, but did I did I do it? You know, well, let me know if I did a great job of explaining. Can y'all do let me know? Can I get some kind of feedback? Uh, yeah, I got that coming up. Name of the co-authors of the book. Yes, thank you so much. Definitely got that coming. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. I asked. They say you have not because you asked not. All right. Okay, let's see here. I don't know what they're talking about. Okay, okay. Uh, first question. Which book am I in? Uh, the book that you are in is Visionistas. That's the book that you're in. And I'm going to get the names here in a little bit. I'm just trying to answer some of the other questions because I know I've had people email me, text, or call our company, call our staff about it. Okay. Let's see here. How many authors are on the empowerment book? Okay, I'm going to share that in just a second. Miss Lots, let's see here. When are you telling us? The author? Okay, I'm about to tell you the author names here in just a second. Okay, is this is there still time to add contact info to the chapters if they have already been submitted? Yes, yes. Um, great, great, great question, Mr. Brooks, uh, Fred Brooks. Yes, we will. Um, you do have the opportunity for that. And the and the question that Fred brought up is, uh, is it, is it still time to add the contact information? Yes, it is. Uh, we're just getting the content lined out first. We're getting the contact lined out first, you know, and some of y'all, y'all can just send a message on here. I'm just going to let you know, just send it on online or whatnot instead of my phone. Okay. Yes. We want all of you to just look at your bio. Some of you have your bios, but definitely take this time while we are editing the actual just content for the chapters. Make sure that you revise, look at your bios. Look at what you have coming up. I know it's a new year, your vision or whatnot, 2020. Make sure that, you know, that the information that you put that we're going to utilize for us about you, your products, your service, your businesses that you have, make sure that you have that right. And another thing is why Fred brought that up. 
if you think you're going to be gone somewhere in a minute, uh, you know, in, in six months or three months, don't put information in there that you're going to need to be adjusted for because you're going to have to put more down for an investment to keep going in and in and out the book to make changes because it might seem like on oh, Microsoft Word that it's easy, but when you start messing with uh, print ready files, that's not the case. So I, I just want y'all to do your due diligence. And of course, we will be working with you um, to make sure it's lined up, but please look at that and use this, you know, use this as a weapon, use this as a tool, um, you know, to skyrocket your business, if you, you know, cause you don't know who's looking at the book. Like my girl, Joyce Johnson, you know, the sales champion, you know, there, there can be someone who's looking at this book that could benefit from Joyce's services or whatnot, whether her speaking, you know, at a college or whatnot to a department, whether it's corporate or what, you know, don't limit yourself to just thinking, I'm just writing a chapter in the book and throwing stuff together when it comes to the bio. You know, don't, you know, don't get so relaxed that you're not paying attention to the opportunities because when this book is out here, the book is out there for years to come. So it's not like that it's going to be taken off, um, you know, the shelf or whatnot, or, or, or that we're not going to, we're going to unpublish the book. So great question, Fred. And let me see if we got any questions. Let me check the chats too. Make sure. Okay. Yeah. All good so far. Simple to understand the instructions. Okay. Great. All right. Well, if you have any other questions, you know, feel free to ask. I'm going to go ahead and start lining up and start getting the names to everyone who are going to be participating in the book. Just one second, and I'm going to start sharing that with you all. All right. So for visionistas, women who think outside the box, a collection of inspirational stories of women in business entrepreneurship. Okay, here we go. Uh, we got on this particular book, we got Kim Gagne. Her chapter would be, everyone has the power to win. Kim Lotz failing towards success. You know, it's going to be dealing with perseverance. Joyce Johnson, how to sell yourself, dealing with the sales component. Shay Sparks, desiring more. She will be dealing with goals and visions in her chapter. All right, Norvella Queen, Norvella Smith, releasing everything that doesn't serve you. Uh, uh, her topic will be discussing forgiveness and moving forward. Miss T. Pring Bynum will be uh, sharing with us overcoming setbacks. Miss Janelle Woods will chapter will be set your soul on fire. Uh, passion and purpose will be uh, what she's leaning to. My girl Renee out of Florida. Renee Merritt will be on uh, discussing in her chapter. Um, not defined by mistakes, letting go of the past. And Miss K, Kansas City own, Kellen Young will be discussing in her chapter, stepping out of your comfort zone. Uh, she will be dealing with fear, dealing with fear. So that will be uh, the empowerment book. That will be vision, Visionistas. So, and also Stephanie Palmer, discovering the woman in you. Um, she's dealing with loving yourself and body self image that what she will be doing. So let's look here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people uh, in the Visionistas. Fred, don't feel left out that you weren't in the Visionistas book. You know, it was just for the women. I don't want you crying over there. All right. Yeah, just having some fun. That's my boy right there. All right, let me see if we got any more questions real quick. All right, any more questions? No, I don't see any questions there. Let's see. All right, all right, let me get out of here. 
Let me see. I think I saw some more questions. Mm. All right. All right. I just got a text uh, when the bios do. The bios will be due. I mean, just see if you can get the book, the bios in as soon as possible. You know, you know what you need. We still, got, I, I would say within a week, two weeks tops, had the bios lined out. That's what we're looking at. If you can get the bios done, we can get that submitted. But with the bios, you know, the bios have to be lined out as well because, you know, even though you might have a bio, we can't just throw the bio in there and it got errors in the bio. So I do, for those who work with us a lot, most of your bios have already been edited or whatnot. But sometimes if you tweak it and make a few changes, there will be, you know, your bios will have to be approved. So our editing team will go through the bios, sift through them, you know, see some angles or whatnot, how we can align it, you know, make sure that the reader is understanding what you're saying, make sure there's no grammatical uh, errors or anything like that, sentence structures right now, send it back to you, you know, if, you know, they see a way to change a word, if something is repetitive, they'll do all that, you know how we do it as far as that, and once it's approved, um, and then we'll go back, we'll go from there, okay, all right, so, let me go here into the leadership and entrepreneurship book as well. All right. Let's see here. We got Jarrell Crawford. We got Jarrell Crawford who will be doing um, Cops and Robbers. That would be his story. It's a fascinating story of Mr. Jarrell Crawford because uh, basically he was a menace to society and became an asset to society. Uh, uh, Story so funny because he got a book called Robbery Saved His Life, where he came, you know, from basically, you know, being a menace to society to actually ended up, you know, going up in the ranks and being a cop before he moved on to some other entrepreneur endeavors. So it's an amazing story to see somebody who was on one path and, you know, who would have ever thought this guy, you know, Robin would be a police officer and, uh, and declarated. Uh, and now he's doing entrepreneurship. So that's why it's cops and robbers for his, you know, some of the principles and things that he were able to uh, learn during that journey on both sides of the law. And Fred Brooks, Junior, the power of networking. Fred will be dealing with networking, how to utilize and leverage that. Uh, also, Francois Badea, a.k.a. Coach Q, will deal with values of a leader. Uh, Coach Q has, uh, and Fred as well, they've done some other books too. Um, they two-time author. So that, I'm going to share that too. So these are some of the benefits. I don't want to, like, like Joyce Johnson. Joyce has, has done several books as well. Like I think like Joyce is like three-time, four-time. Like I think Joyce is almost about to be a five-time author, and she still took advantage of the co-authoring program. Um Fred Brooks is uh, a two-time, about to be a three-time author. Uh, Coach Q, Francois Bedell is a three-time, about to be by the, uh, a four-time author as well. Uh, Luis Delgado, my boy, my boy Luis, uh, Luis, is, uh, his chapter would be A Leader's Mindset. Um, and I had Luis come on to think, out, to think outside the box for his leadership. So many times when we think of leadership, we only, uh, for most of us, uh, think of a John Maxwell or anything, and, and don't get me wrong, you know, John and that team have done a, 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 an extraordinary job for us, what they've done for us, leadership, being the grandfather of leadership, you know, from my age group uh, for years now, decades. So I don't want to minimize that, but this is just a different look at leadership from a different perspective. Lewis is already um, a two-time author as well, about to be three with this, and he has other products he has coming out as well. Um, uh, Dr. Sobers, Dr. Shauna Sobers, uh, actually uh, is taking advantage of this opportunity. Uh, her chapter will be leading as a woman of color in corporate America. Uh, Dr. Shauna is doing an amazing job, um, you know, uh, as far as a UT, University of Texas in Austin, Hook'em, and also, uh, you know, worldwide as far as, you know, teaching leadership 
and dealing with diversity or whatnot. So she has a book that she's releasing herself. So um, a solo project. So she's doing this in alignment. So it goes back to what we did, talked about. Uh, we just what I discussed with you earlier. Of you got individuals who are uh, uh, author several times over. You got some people who are working on a book, hadn't released the first one, but they're still leveraging the opportunity of the co-author book. So like with Dr. Sobers, she can utilize what she's writing about in this book. She's going to share information. So when this book come out, others will know about the solo project that's coming out. See how it ties in. That's the importance of the bio. All right. My girl, Jennifer Kleiber, GNK. Uh, well, uh, her, her chapter is communication goes a long way. Uh, she's doing a brilliant job too or whatnot uh, with uh, what quote unquote what people call at risk teens, um, you know, changing the perspectives of the educators uh, that everybody isn't educated the same way. Uh, we're all different. So Emilian White, the man, the, the, uh, the promotion guru, we, he will, his chapter will be creating your own opportunities. Great guy, I love him. He, he's gonna share his amazing story. Um, coming from Cleveland, Ohio, um, uh, meager beginnings, um, climbing up outside of an auditorium to be able to watch the Jackson Five um, perform. And then, you know, life happens, end up in radio, doing promotions. And before you know it, he's actually working, having the opportunity to work with an A-list of stars, but work with Michael Jackson. and. Uh, you know, from, you know, from watching the Jackson five and sneaking in to be able to look at it through a window uh, to actually working with Michael Jackson and so many others. Uh, Larry W. Brooks, the serial entrepreneur. Uh, Mr. Brooks is an author several times over as well. Uh, he's participating in it. His chapter will be per hustle. Now, the one said serial entrepreneur. Now I'm just, what I brought up earlier, I'm just using the examples of the individuals who are in this book. So, Mr. Brooks has several books. Okay, now he has a brand that he's promoted with Pure Hustle and dealing with, you know, from the real estate company to the stuff with speaking and other endeavors that he's into, he got a clothing line. So it's tying in the entrepreneurship piece, which the last book he did was Entrepreneur uh, Code. Now he's using Pure Hustle. So now the chapter is Pure Hustle, but now he's able to dive in to the components of what it takes to hustle and to get where you need to be to grow your business, to grow your profits and to grow your brands. Um, bishop Trailer, Servant Leadership, the good bishop, uh, will be discussing as um, far as a, a clergy perspective or whatnot of how to uh, build a team, uh, build it from scratch. Also, uh, he's also over uh, an association as well and dealing with other leaders from different parts of the world. Um, so he's going to deal with servant leadership. And then we got um, uh, Stephanie Palmer, The Pursuit of Learning. Um, she's going to be sharing about the pursuit of learning. And then we got uh, Dr. Don Paul. Yes, yes. Uh, I'm obsess obsessed about that brand that she got going on with. But the brand awareness, <clears throat> brand, <clears throat> brand awareness. And Dr. Don has a company that um, I think is Obsessed Media. And so Dr. Dunn will be sharing about brand awareness, things that people aren't thinking about, but it's important. You know, you can, you can be a great person. You can be the best painter. You can be the best speaker. But if your brand doesn't represent the quality that you can give someone, then you, you're going to fall behind. And I know some of you, you know, and this will be a whole nother webinar for this. Some of you are caught up in that procrastination and in using that you're humble so you don't want to be out there, but you got to think about it. If you're not, if people don't know about you, if they don't know you, they can't flow you. They can't use your services. So guess what? Someone who doesn't have their best interest at heart will get attention, will have their brand shown to the world. And then you have more people being hurt because you got a piece of humble pie that you're utilizing and you're saying that you don't want to be out there in front of people. So you got to think different. So Dr. Don will be sharing with us about brand awareness. And last but not least is the good doctor, Dr. Maurice Lawson, Mississippi on down in the Delta, five languages of leadership. Uh, oh man, awesome chapter, awesome chapter. Five languages of leadership, the good doctor will be sharing with us uh, principles of leadership, what he does in corporate, 
also in ministry and also um, thank you for your service sir as well but what he learned um, in um, our armed forces serving for our country for years or whatnot and wife still serves um, in the DC area so those are the individuals that we have so let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so 12 chapters and the four by yours truly, Mr. Darren M. Palmer. So we got the books there. Any more questions right now before we go? I don't want to hold up y'all from happy hour, uh, a brunch. Let me see here. Everybody getting mad at me. You got your table booked and I'm holding y'all up. So let me, let me make sure that. All right. Can we post a previous book cover with our bio? Can we make can we still make edits to content? Sound like great content. Why are they seeing my question? Uh, because it's in the panelists area. Okay. That's why they seeing it. So um, it's in the chat where everybody can see it. So I'm still gonna answer the questions or whatnot. It doesn't have a name with it, so they won't know who you are anyway. Um, but just to answer your question. Can we post a previous book cover with our bio? Oh, 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 okay. I wouldn't go that far as far as posting the cover all in the book. Now, this is something else that you gotta realize with this book. I'm glad this, I'm glad you brought this question up, whoever it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. With this book, we want to minimize some of the costs. Okay, so whenever you look at doing color inside the book, the book is drastically more, you know, I mean, you know, it's, the, the, you know, it's like inflation, like the, the book shoot, shoots up. So if, if that's something you would do, I have some ways that we can do it. So if you want to do something like that and you want to take on those costs, then there will be ways that I can set some stuff up for you. And so you can do that. Cause if it's just in publishing, if it's one, whether it's one page or the whole book and the inside, I'm talking about the interior of a book. If it's color on that book, the, the price drastically changed. So some of you are already authors, but some of you might not be. This is you just say, for instance, the average book for the most part, uh, maybe 150, 200 and some pages, typically a book per book to print, just the process shouldn't be more than $3. Should be like $3 or less. You know, some books around 150 or less, you know, it might be, you know, 215, 270, 270 cents, things like that. If you add color to that book, now you're looking at, what that book can be from that to maybe seven or 10, or depending on the size, $12 for the book. So now it defeats the purpose of you even doing the book for the most part, because when you do the book, you're in the red. So, you know, like I said, if you want to do that, and that's a brilliant question, if you want to do that um, in the inside of the book, I wouldn't do cover. We're really just sticking with your information because we want to be able to have it where they can just go to whatever link, whatever website you have, and they'll be able to find out about all your stuff anyway. Um, but, you know, I don't think it would be bad or whatnot. I think we, I mean, we might even be able to put the cover in there, but it'd probably be, let's say, for instance, it'd probably be black and white. It'll be black and white by the time, but they can still see it. So that would just be your call if you want to just have the website. So when they do type in the website that should go and see and find the information or you can just have an image of the cover with the image of the cover would be in black and white so that would just be your call on how you want to do that <laughs> Joyce told me to smile because she's taking my picture all right Joyce all right but I want to congratulate you all for moving forward and doing the book and please share it with people because when you are an author, there's others out there who desire to be authors. So this is the gift that keeps giving. Think about what it meant to you 
that you had a desire and a dream to be able to be a published author, but didn't really know how you was going to do that, how you was going to get that accomplished, how you was going to get that done. But how, you know, it was a stress reliever finding someone who understood what you needed and, and wasn't trying to beat you and was going to actually be able to come through and bring it to fruition or whatnot, manifest what you had been thinking about. So do that for other people. So if you know others who could benefit from this co-authoring program, we will have a book coming out every month for the most part. So if you know somebody who want to participate in the next volume or another book series that we have, we're going to have books on uh, those who particip participated in HBCUs. We're going to have books for those who uh, were able, you know, with relationship advice. Um, you know, this thing is broad, you know, so we, you know, so I just wanted to share that with you all that if you know people who could benefit or, you know, they can just ease on in and start off and not spend thousands of dollars to get started because, you know, if you invest in the book, a book is going to be an investment. It will be funds, you know, of thousands of dollars, you know, to get it done, you know, for investment, but it's, you know, it's worth it. But at the same time, if you can do it for less than a thousand dollars and get a book out and say you're a published author, I think that's a great start for anybody. So if you know anybody who can benefit from that, please share the information, have them reach out to us. We would love to work with them and you're not limited. So if any of you, you know, want to work on other projects, you're not limited on how many projects you can work on. You know, so I'm just going to share this with you and I'm going to get us off or whatnot because we're coming, we're approaching our time. Um, got about seven minutes left. Like even with me, I'm doing different books with you all as well. So look what it means. I'm already a seven time author. You know, I'm blessed to be a seven time author. But with these projects, I'm going to be, it's going to be like eight, nine, 10, 14, because I'm going to drop in on every book for the most part. If it's a four, if it's one chapter, see, you know, work smarter, not harder. You got you to think different. And so, you know, don't let ego, you know, <clears throat> you know, don't let ego get in the way and pride get in the way of you. You know, some people got this concept that it got to be, they got to have a book the size of Malcolm Glad Gladwell, uh, Outliers, and, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, they got to have a good, great book. They got to have, you know, uh, a, a Color Purple, or, or, or Alex Haley's Roots type book for it to be official. That's the wrong type of thinking, uh, you know. You know, just like you know, some starving artists is outside of Nashville playing a guitar, and they saying true to their art, but nobody don't even know about them. So, I mean, you got to keep that same thing in mind, leverage that. Now, how do I use that in the marketplace? So now, when you come to my website and you come to some of the stuff that I have going on, you know, instead of doing a book one time seven time author. Okay. That gives me instant credibility with you because you know, most people hadn't been able to accomplish getting up one book done. So if they are seven time author, evidently this person, you know, there's a great chance that this person might know what they're talking about. And so that's the same way that I'm leveraging that in my business, the same way for you. If it's sales training, the same way with you as a speaker, you have to realize that as well how you let people look at you different. You want to allow for your brand, the brand of you. Um, let me quote the great philosopher and lyricist, the Jay-Z. I'm not a business. I'm a business. I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. You kind of messed that up a little bit, but it's a morning. Y'all forgive me. But at the same time, y'all get where I'm going with this story. You know, you have to realize it's the brand of you. It's all about moves. You can't do one book put your feet in the sand in Cabo, sipping on a Modelo or a margarita, a margarita or whatnot, and think that you've made it. Unless you wrote the Bible, a chicken noodle soup for the soul, that's the only way those royalty checks are going to come into you like that. But if you got different products, because some of you, y'all will wear out the book. You post just the book. You don't have, you don't have a Facebook Live about the book you you don't interview people who talking about principles that you share about in the book you, you know you don't have any events about the book you know you just say you just post a picture of your book and say my book is available that ain't gonna get it that's gonna get it because that, that's, that's that'll work at first 
that then people desensitize to it. It's not big. Yeah, I am a walking billboard. Come on now. Come on now. This was the kind of audience I have on here today. So that's right. You want to be a walking billboard. You want, you know, you want to have things that attract. These are what we call power moves. There's two types of people in business and ministry, and one group are making force moves. And then other groups are making power moves. Power moves take some time. It's just like a good crock pot. You know, you got to put some stuff in there. You got to let it simmer. You got to let that thing come together. Whatnot. Somebody making some gumbo. I feel I feel in my spirit somebody going to cook some gumbo. I hope Fred Brooks is listening to this. You know, I, you know, if you got some gumbo, you got you to gotta put it in the pot. You just don't just make gumbo any kind of way if you're making it right. And so you got to let it simmer. You got to let it take a little time with that. That's the same thing with power moves. You know, some of us, we just want to get on the George Foreman real quick. Not, don't get me wrong, because I do use George. Don't get me wrong. I will respect the George now. But at the same time, you just want to do something quick, microwave, get it done. And I want you to understand when it comes to power moves, utilize your book. And I'm just going to give y'all some coaching tips. This ain't got nothing to do with the book. Create opportunities and symbiotic flows. So, yeah, that's it. That's it. You got to play chess. Yeah, you know, you got to create things that bring attention to you. So. Let's just say, for instance, book sales. Most people call it, I want to sell this many books. I want No, that ain't how it works. If you create other things to go along with the book, people start being more interested in the books. Okay, what do you mean? Because I have more than one book, someone gets one of my books, and then they're interested in buying another book. Okay, okay, that's one tip. Because I have a podcast. People might hear my podcast with me interviewing somebody else and like the interview and they never heard about my book and they Google and look my name up, Darren M. Palmer, and then they want the book. Okay, 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 let's look, let's look again. I have, when I go to certain cities, I have an author's round table, a little meetup, basically a little meetup. I go author's round table because it aligns with my type of business. Now, yours might be executive meetup. Uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 you know, a, a sales session or something, whatever, whatever, you, whatever work with you and what you do, or just a networking opportunity. Okay, so I create that. So what happens is that people come out, I uplift and promote other people. Other people share the information. So now it's people who didn't know about me that know about me and come to the event, and they're ready to buy a book or ready to do some other business. Okay, 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 okay. Let's look again. We're going to the 300 level courses now, y'all. We're going 300 level courses in this thing right now. All right. So we look at it from that perspective. Then I mess around and say, okay, I'm going to throw an event. I'm going to throw a conference. Okay, I, I throw the conference, but I'm talking about stuff that dealing with publishing. So what does that happen? That allows, I bring people together. It's not all about me. I'm showing love to everybody else, putting them on the platform. But then at the same time, by me lifting others up, I'm able to rise with them. So the more you create, one of our core values here is personal help. We believe in creating win-wins. So the more I help other people win, the more I win. Let me repeat that. The more I help other people win, then I win, then we all win. It's a trifecta. So, and everybody loves a winner. So when you promote other people and don't have a lack or a scarcity mindset, everybody rise. And so then you create a network that will allow for your net worth to grow because these opportunities that you create open doors for others and it's called the law of reciprocity. You're going to win. You're going to win because someone is going to share something else about your services because you cared enough to share something about them. You uplifted them. You show love to them. And so when you're operating in this capacity, guess what happened? Uh-oh, those book sales. Those book sales start going up. Those book sales going up. See, people are waiting on one ad. Uh, um, one Facebook ad to do it all, one click funnel away, man. 
the click funnels don't work unless you work. So you got to make sure that you understand that it's about relationships. The more people see you as a leader, the more people see you as an expert, if you want to create market leader content. When people look at you, they don't have to wonder if you are an expert. If they just keep seeing, so notice what I just said that seven, seven time author. Don't have one show. He got three shows about publishing. They got event. They connecting people in other cities who live in the city but don't know each other. They got yearly conferences that they bring these people together. So guess what happened? Hey, I heard about you from so-and-so. Hey, I heard you on this podcast. Hey, and this is not me promoting me right now, y'all. I'm just giving y'all examples in my own life that I'm practicing what I'm preaching here with what we're doing in these books or whatnot. So it's really not even about the book. See, that's what y'all need to get. I mean, it's about the book, but it ain't about the book. See, and once you understand that, you got to realize how do I feed this machine to align? Like Larry Brooks, I'm going to show you this thing about Larry Brooks. Larry's first book was a quote book. What even his quotes? We put the whole book together. Larry, you know, see, Larry was moving the groove, but I know what he needed. We went to college with each other. So I know what needed to be done in the book. So we did the book. You know, he had some stuff he wanted in there, a few things. But we did the book, put it all together. Boom, 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 bam. Put the book out. Didn't have nothing to do with real estate, okay? Larry got eight new real estate deals in a month's time with him for putting that book out. You know, I don't want to get in his numbers and then, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, he, you know, he did real good. He ate real good off that little quote book. You know, with eight new, and, and I didn't go into the totality of all the deals because guess what? While other realtors were giving out those magnets and get at the little networking events online and everybody throwing them cars away in the parking lot, he had the book and it re it's top of mind, it's Toma, top of mind awareness. So because he had the book, it, uh, it, it, it rejuvenized his base. So now those who had done business with him before, he had a reason for him to be top of mind awareness with him, with them. It wasn't for an open house or nothing else. Wow, my realtor did a book. My broker did a book. Hey, you know, you know, wow, he, he you know, he sold us our house too. People are busy. Don't take it so personal. They will forget about you because they got their own responsibilities in their own life. They don't even mean it, but they got their own responsibilities. So it's your job to have awareness to have something of value that you present in the marketplace to keep people looking. So when they're looking at one book, then you got another book. Then they see you on a show. Then they see you at an event. Now that's a reason for you to be in front of people without being salesy. And now all of a sudden, without them even knowing that you're in their subconscious mind because all they're doing is seeing words, images, and emotions. They see you smiling on the picture. You know what I'm saying? They see you with a new product. It's all in their mind. So all of a sudden, they uh, say, I don't care what that one costs. I want that one because I've seen it on TV. You know how it is. You're driving down the road. You listen to some music. You listen to something that you might not even like. And then you get out there. You be like, what them kids had that music on? I'm over here singing this dumb song. You know the song dumb, but you sing it anyway because it's in your subconscious mind. So that's the same way that you're doing when you just steady singing you week after week. It look like ain't nothing hidden. You're doing your YouTube channel. Look like nobody on the YouTube channel. Who cares? I got a YouTube channel. I don't care about the viewership on the YouTube. If, I mean, if they come on it, they come on it because I ain't worried about that because guess what happens? When you start finding the search engine optimization and I'm steady putting them podcasts on there, regardless who listening to it, I'm steady putting no YouTube videos on there. No matter who looking at it, when somebody wants to do business with me and they type my name in and they Google Darren M. Palmer, boop, 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 Amazon, YouTube, boop, 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 boop. iTunes, boop, 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 boop. Stitcher, boop, 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 boop. blog post, boop, boop, boop. medium, boop, 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 boop. LinkedIn. Let the games begin, y'all. Man, I'm giving too much game on here, but y'all know I love y'all. I'm giving y'all these 300 level courses. Y'all get me fired up, baby. I love the energy, baby. Can't you see? I love what I do. All right, now let me see if we got any more questions in here before I get out of here. Let's see here. Yeah, 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 yes. We all win. Yes, yes. 
Let's see here. And if y'all are available, please come out January 25th to Houston, Texas. Please come out for the event. We would love to see you there. Uh, the fire is blade. Yeah, bring the buckets of water. Claude, have mercy. When other people, again, it doesn't take away from how, that's There you go. That's it, Kellen. Uh, yeah, capacity. Love that word. Show and tell. Lead by example. Ah, uh, yeah. It was good. Loved it. Hey, congratulations to you all. You all did it. I want to be respectful of your time. Y'all did an excellent job. I didn't go to the Q&A, though. I don't know. I want to make sure I do that. <clears throat> okay. I just want to make sure. Okay. All right. I had some questions on here. Uh, okay. Let me ask some of these questions right here. I, I missed some of these. Okay. One of the questions is, yes, Edis is final. Now, I want, I want to make sure that we understand this. I was told Edis were final. Can we still edit again in there? Errors, we gonna, our team is going to take care of errors. But then errors can, too, be in the eye of the beholder as well. What we don't want to have is what we doing this 20 times, you know, because basically you you have a certain amount of edits. So if it was an error there, you should have seen it within the, the, the first few or four times that you looked at it. So there has to be a cutoff time because some people will go forever tweaking and pulling and adding the word and their cousin saw this, you know, so our job is not to put out a book with errors. We don't do that. But what I have to do is protect people from themselves because some people will continue to edit to Jesus come back. So we got to have a stopping point. And even John Maxwell got errors in this book. We're not reaching for that. That's not what we're doing. But we do have to have a cutoff because we would never get a book done because people edit. Because it's like, okay, if you look at the book three to four times and we got what you had approved the last three or four times, how many times are we going to go back and look at that and change it? Can't do it. So yes, make sure y'all, if you don't have several errors and you've been told that, I would just stick with whatever's there. We will make sure there's no errors in the book because sometimes you can think something is not an error and it actually be an error, but we will make sure we do our due diligence and uh, make sure no errors in the book. We're going to make sure you take it care of. But if you don't have several edits, that, that's going to probably be it. You can add your stuff about your book. Now, let's see here. Is it possible to change my chapter to How to Reinvent Yourself? Okay, yeah, you can, we can change that chapter name to How to Reinvent Yourself. Um, but the thing is, is you don't need to change the content. So if your content is relevant to, if the content is relevant to what you already have done and we're not having to go back and do a whole nother chapter, then yes, the chapter title can be changed. All right, let me see any other questions here. <clears throat> All right, congratulations to everyone involved. Oh, Lord, that's the queen in here. Hail to the queen. Good to see you on, queen. All right, let me see her in the chat. <clears throat> uh, okay, Dr. Sober said, blessed to be a part of amazing group of leaders. We're glad to have you on. Good doctor. Y'all make sure y'all follow each other. And something else, too. With the names that I have, I'm going to get information to uh, all of you, but also follow each other. You know, when we talked about win-wins, I'm going to get, I'm going to have our team comprise and get everybody the names of the individuals and some contact information. Or why don't y'all send us some of your contact? Yeah, 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 because I ain't going to have y'all have me doing all that work. Send me or put in right now in the chat, if you don't mind, just put in, you know, some of your handles on social media. You know, let's go ahead and do that, y'all. You know, while we are already here, let's go ahead and start supporting each other already. You know, let's, let's see the synergy. This is what masterminding is about. You know, it's not just throwing a book together. Let's put our website information, our, our handles. Let, let's, you know, let's work this thing out. Let's start networking now. Because you don't know what somebody else do or who got another contact or what event that y'all can do with each other. You know, let's put that information. So if you look in the chat, the chat, everybody's dropping their handles. You know, somebody might need a house. Somebody might need someone to come in and do some consulting or whatnot. Um, you know, 
to have going in. Uh, Dr. Sobers, uh, definitely look at connecting with uh, Joyce Johnson um, because if you, you know, if you're looking at for uh, the RAs or somebody who can present or whatnot, Joyce Johnson would be a great person to have come in and speak to your leaders as well. I think y'all could benefit. And Joyce got uh, connects in corporate from her years in corporate too. Um, so that will be a great person to connect with. Yes. Let's see here. What we got? All right. Um, my girl, Kellen. Yeah. I thank you till you make it. Uh, okay. Got my boy, Luis. C. Delgado. All right, Louis. Uh, and Dr. Sobers, we need to teach Louis some dance moves. I think he think he know how to do some dance moves. So I know you do know how to do the salsa and do all these training. We got to teach Louis a few of these dance moves. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to come to Austin and learn some of these dance moves. I'm trying to get Louis. He think he got a little Latin flavor. He think he know how to move. I'm going to have to go down there. So we can so we can learn from y'all and your team down there how to do some of these salsa moves, get Lewis lined out for the new year. All right, let's see here. All right. I just want to make sure I had everybody's stuff. Remember your bios. Get your bio information in. We want to have it done in a two-week period. Just get it done, get it clear, and then we're gonna to have to move on. Remember, our team will edit. Um, but this is not like we're doing a full-fledged book. Remember as well that you are responsible. Or if you want to do a landing page, if you want to do anything else, this is just a project to minimize your overall investment and to leverage where you get the most out of it by doing this type of project. So, all right, let's see here. Okay, the capacity to bleed. Okay, y'all ain't gonna just leave me out there. Let me go and throw my information out there. I think y'all gonna, y'all gotta practice what I preach out there. I don't know what I'm thinking about. What's wrong? What's wrong with me? Yeah, I don't have to. Put my stuff in there too. I gotta lead by example. What's wrong with me, y'all? See, that's what you gotta have accountability for. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Dr. So put the dance out there. That's it. That's it. All right. IG and Facebook. Y'all follow your boy on there. And also if LinkedIn, make sure each other all y'all connect with each other on LinkedIn too. Uh last but not least, let me see. Last question. Let's see if we got any last questions. Okay. Okay, great. All right. Have a blessed one, Joyce. Thank you so much. Kimberly Lots. Uh, yeah, Queen Speak Life. Love it. Uh uh Sobers.com forward slash dance or just dot com to find out more information. Uh, let me make sure I got everybody else's name. I think Fred, I seen Fred shared his information. Kimberly Lots.com. Yes. Love him. The capacity to believe. Yes. Awesome book, awesome book. Uh, Dr. Sean Ted Talk, uh huh. Love that. Okay, Fred Brooks, Realty. Um, okay, how to fake it till you make it. Yes, Louis C. Delgado. Okay, all right. We got everybody in. Hey, wonderful call for those who weren't able to participate, who will be able to get the recording. Remember, uh, just follow these steps. If you need any other help, you know, please just reach out to us, but please watch the video. I hope that you all have a blessed, wonderful weekend, and we look forward to working with you on future projects if projects as well. Remember, tell other people who want to get their books done, who see this information, refer them to us about our co-author program or their solo project. Remember, this is the year for your new book. Be blessed and be great.